Welcome back to MTD CNC, my friends. And today I'm spending time with my buddy Jake. Jake, you may recognize from some other videos we've done because, well, he's kind of famous. Oh, yeah. He doesn't know it yet, but he's kind of famous. Jake is with Aceta. Aceta is one of the leaders in automation and robotics. And Aceta is exclusively distributor for Fanuc robots. Now, if you got tricked like I did, the white is actually a Fanuc cobot. I thought all the Fanuc was yellow, but I'm learning something new. Yep. And today, Jake's gonna tell us a little bit about what he's doing on this machine with this cobot. So Jake, my friend, good to see you again. Take sure. it away, brother. Sure, so we're just running a little demo program going through the grid with the robot. Um, so as you mentioned, this is a collaborative robot. So if you bump into it, it will, it'll stop. Um, I'll reset that. And super easy to restart, yep. right? and just hit resume and it carries on from where it left off. Um, so some of the advantages of this system, it has the on-robot electric grippers with a, a pretty neat uh, quick change mounting system. Oh, wow. So the grippers just pop off. We have some different options, uh, two finger gripper, three finger gripper, vacuum gripper, magnetic gripper, and they all work with this quick change mounting system. Can which, that be automated as well? So uh, currently you need to press the button and manually change uh, change the grippers, but I believe that is something that they are working on okay. is to, uh, to automate the, the tool changing. Sounds like the next step, right? Yep, exactly. <laughs> so what else do you have going on here? Because talking with you previously, I learned so much about the world of automation and the fact sure. that massive batch sizes aren't really, I mean, they're important if we can get them, but also we can do you know, batch sizes of five and mm -hmm. seven and 10. And this mobile cart is really universal as well and flexible. Yeah, exactly. So the cart can detach from the robot base and then you can bring in another cart with say different fixturing or um, if you have multiple carts that you wanna you know, bring them around your facility. In addition to that, uh, this pegboard, these are standard dowel pins. Mm -hmm. So you can move the, the pins around to create different uh, part fixtures for different size and shape parts. Okay. So it's designed to be very flexible uh, so that you don't have to re-engineer so the, the design every time you want to change parts. Right. Um, in addition to that, one of the, the main feature of this system is this Fanuc CRX robot. And it's designed to be super easy to program and teach without, you know, you don't have to be pro a programmer for your whole career to, you know, pick up how to how to use it. Mm -hmm. So I'll go over, show you how to go into a demo program that I have going on. So right here is the program timeline. So these are all of the points that we've taught. Okay. And to teach another point, you can drag the robot by hand, mm -hmm. and then you take a point icon, and you drag it into that timeline. And automatically it goes from there to there. Yeah, so that is the point you just taught. And now say you want to move over here, you drag the robot there, and then you drag an icon and that icon saves that point that you just got. It's like moving apps around my iPhone. Exactly, <laughs> super easy to use. Once you uh, create your program, you change it from run mode to, or from teach mode to run mode. Uh-huh. Hit run. And then now it's cycling through all the program, or all the points that I just uh, taught. It is incredibly user-friendly, and that's important to understand but even if we don't feel confident in the simplicity of it, you guys support with classes and all sorts of other educational platforms in order to build that confidence in others, right? Exactly, so Aceed is a FANUC integrator, um, so we can do a full turnkey system for you. Uh, some of our customers, they'll have us come in, set up their first part or two, and then we'll train them on how to set up the next part, and then after that, they're self-sufficient. Um, and if anything comes up in the future, we're happy to come in and do programming or we have uh, classroom training as well. So people can come into our facility and we have like a four or five day classroom session that we can do. It's something I'd like to reiterate with the audience. And to me, it's a major point is that we see how many pieces are here. This cart is mobile 
and we can set up a completely different job because the, the robot understands in the system just like a program on a CNC machine. If I roll this card away, roll the new one in, press go on the new program, I've now started a brand new batch, right? Exactly. Yeah, you just have a, a different program for the different parts, but um, it's very, very flexible and the, the cart docks itself into position. Um, I'll move that back there. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's designed to be super flexible, easy to use, and have minimal changeover between your part runs. Well, Jake, I know that you're a busy guy. There's customers all over the place today. Mm -hmm. So thank you for sharing your time. And I appreciate you helping all of us understand how simple automation can be, because I think that's important. And you're, you're a whiz at it, but some of us, we're still trying to catch up. Yep, exactly. No, no problem. Glad yep. to help. So thank you for being a part of MTD, Jake. And it's good to see you again, my friend. Good to see you, too.